Hello, and welcome to Double Eagles Ministry. I'm Lee Homan, and in just a moment, you're going to hear a beautiful message from Andrew Lacombe. Do you ever feel not comfortable when you receive something because you think it's too good? Or maybe it's just too good to be true? Because of these past 10 years that I've known Andrew Lacombe, He's done nothing but serve me truth. Serve me love that I've desperately needed. But then he'll say just very simply, the vision, the dream, as hard as those things are to believe in, God gives them for a reason. There is a reason behind everything that the Lord does. You just got to seek him diligently. So those dreams and those visions of abounding prosperity, of life and love and joy can come forth. Plant, sow, so God can give to you reaped reward. Speak faith, not fear, not circumstance. Give that good report. Have fellowship. And sometimes a good report is just being real about where you're at. God has a miracle on the other side. And without Andy, I wouldn't be here. Everything that has transpired in the past 10 years, I would have gone a completely different road. I know that. So I'm going to ask you to listen and watch this beautiful message from Andrew Lacombe. Open up your heart to receive. And watch as God moves in your life as you do. Not just hear, but do what the Lord tells you. Thank you. Welcome to the power of forgiveness. The power of forgiveness in your life will cleanse you from all sins when you repent of that man in the mirror in your old self to be washed clean through the remissions of sins. Jesus paid that price in Calvary for you and in his Son of Man ministry gave the keys to the kingdom and his way out of bondage, sin, death, in a list of what the curse of man through Adam has kept men in bondage. You want a way out of your emotional strife, your mental torment, and your physical afflictions? Set your soul free through the power of forgiveness. I love talking about the power of Jesus Christ. He's not watered down. He is the living, breathing power of God himself and the creator from on high. And in him and through him is the life of men. And so when you forgive, you're forgiven. If you want to be cleansed from that disease and plague that so afflicts you for whatever reason and see how the devil has plagued you through abuse or trauma, pain, suffering. The answer to that lies right now in this message called the power of forgiveness. See, I'm surrounded in my old life, lifting weights and that lifestyle of health was awesome, but it was so empty without Jesus Christ. Not a knowledge about it. 
but the indwelling of him. And then that indwelling of him gives you the power to heal, to cleanse, to rebuke, to bind, to forgive. And when you can forgive, look, ask yourself this question right now. Who has power over your life? What has the power or who has the power over your life? Sometimes, especially with mental torment and emotional afflictions, through all the sins, abuse, curse, whatever it is, the devil, you sit and lament those acts, and it has power over you. There's one way to release and to be forgiven as you forgive and be washed clean to take back your power over all the power of the enemy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. His will in heaven as it is in your earth. Forgive us our sins and forgive them who sinned against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. The Lord's Prayer indwells the power of God's living word in you. And so you can start exercising your spirit man in his liberty in the Holy Ghost. And isn't that what Jesus said when he reappeared to the disciples? Glorified, said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Go away in Jerusalem for the promise of the Father. The omnipresent Holy Spirit, they'll teach you all things. And one of the major things in your life now and forever is if you forgive, you're legally unbound to those sins. You now give God the legal right to destroy the works of Satan as you repent of those, whether it's your fault or not, doesn't matter. I'm doing a podcast coming out that will pair with this well. It's called Sin is the Source. So whosoever sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Whosoever sins that you remit, they are remitted. Likewise, what you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. What you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. That's why Jesus, when they accused him of having an unclean spirit, told them, how can Satan cast out Satan? There's only one unforgiven sin that you can do. And that's blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Don't you call what I have cleaned unclean or unholy. That's through the washing of the water of the Word and the regeneration of God's Holy Spirit. Not only are you forgiven, you're empowered from power from on high. And then the, the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, quickens your mortal body and you awake from the dead and cease sinning. And Christ should give you light. And then you'll see how to defeat the devil in your life. Your blind spots, your emotional hangups, your personality that have been afflicted through your own ways or through the curse of all of mankind. All of sin fell short of the glory of God. So here's the exciting part of your life. And I'll read you a couple of scriptures. Paul said this in the scriptures. For to this end... Also did I write that I might know the proof of you, whether you be obedient in all things, to whom you forgave anything, I forgave also. For if I forgave anything to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgave it I in the person of Christ. 
see, this is where revelation or the mystery of God is starting to be revealed. And revelation or revealed is starting to have your understanding opened or your eyes opened. Lest, verse 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, a door was opened unto me of the Lord. In other words, Jesus is the author and finisher of your faith. And there's another scripture after the disciples were in prison that God sent his angel and opened the prison gates and said, now you go right back out there and you preach the gospel openly in the power of this life. See, the revelation of the glorified presence of the indwelling of Jesus Christ in you, this hope of glory. It's a praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He has made us accepted in the Beloved. Beloved, above all things, as you prosper and be in health, even as a soul prospers in whom we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. That's what heaven made known on us, the mystery of his will, according to the good pleasure which he has purposed in himself. So if you allow Christ in you, see, my next Luke Laser comic book series, it's not so comedic, it's actually the testimony of the living Savior in a man. The next one that is premiering soon. The first one's called Finally a Hero. The next one's called Only the New Creature. Because only the new creature in Christ avails anything with God. So he will blot out your sins, your sinful nature, and the man that commits it to be a new creature, to be looked upon through the Father's holy eyes as the ransom price through His blood, a purity, holiness for inheritance. That's why Christ came to snatch out of darkness into His marvelous light. That the dispensation of the fullness of times He might gather together in all one things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in Him in whom we also have attained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ. I hope this message today, the power of forgiveness, allows you to start healing from the open wounds, both visible and invisible, bodily, emotionally, and spiritually. So your soul starts singing the praises of the salvation and the glory, which is in Christ Jesus. Thank you for joining us today.